guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And my name is Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with an unboxing from... Universal Yums. And this, this month, yeah. it is uh, the Netherlands. Yeah, and I can't remember if we've gotten a box from the Netherlands before. I think so. Or not. But if you're not familiar, Universal Yams is a monthly subscription box, and I think it's $25 a month. And every single month, they send you a box from a different country. You get to try their treats. And in each box, you get about, what, 10 to 12 snacks? Yes. And you also get this booklet, which gives you information on that country. It has recipes. It has all sorts of fun things in here. Um, descriptions of all the different products, trivia about that country. So it's a really cool box. We've been getting it for at least two years now. Mm. So you ready to yes. jump in? So let's start. First up, we have some uh, chips. Yes, so we have sour cream and onion potato chips, which of course we're familiar with that flavor here in the US. It's a very popular chip flavor. Apparently, I guess it's pretty um, popular over there too, so. So, see how it tastes. Yes. It may taste different. Yeah. Very thin looking chips. They're very thin looking, but they look like a kettle chip to me, but they're not as thick. Well, let's see how they taste. Cheers. I think it tastes good. So, I, it tastes like regular potato chips. Mm -hmm. I do taste the uh, sour cream and onion flavor. Mm -hmm. I like it. It is thinner than a regular chip. It's not thick. Yeah, what I notice is that it's not very salty. Whereas I feel like chips here in the US are pretty salty. This one is not that salty and the flavor is pretty mild. I didn't taste a lot of Sour, sour cream, cream and onion. I mean, it tasted kind of like a plain potato chip to me. Yeah, but it still tastes good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, so next up, we have caramel stroop waffles, and that is something that's here in the U.S. Um, now. You can buy it in stores, but I don't think I've ever actually tried one. Have you? No, I don't think so. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like a... A waffle. Yeah, like a waffle. And it's pretty big. It's like the size of the palm of your hand. Oh, it's soft though. It's not crunchy like I thought it would be when I broke it. it uh, it's soft? It's softer, yes. I'll break a little piece off. Oh, it is very soft. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Very chewy. I think the caramel is in the, in the inside. Yeah, I mean, it's a waffle and in between the waffles is a caramel. I taste the caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I'm not my kind of thing, I don't think though. It's but. not my kind of thing either. And I really like a, like a waffle cone. I really like waffle cones. Crispy. This is, yeah, crispy, things like that. This is not like that. This kind of tastes like a waffle cone, the ice cream melted, soft. and it got really soft. <laughs> That's what that tastes like to me. I know people rave about these things. It's not It's not for me. I probably wouldn't buy it if I mm, saw it. I'll do that too. Yeah. Okay, so next up we have... Um, Candy cars. Yeah. And so they say that, let's see, it's a Dutch thing, of course. Um, these are based on the uh, best-selling Cadillacs. And the flavors are strawberry, black currant, and cherry. Oops. They smell really good. I smell them. He opened the bag and. Oh, you prefer one over the other? Mmm, I don't know what this is. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Really hard. Hard. Very hard. Very chewy. Mm hmm. Sticks to your teeth. Mm hmm. So. My favorite gummy bear is Hairbro. So these are kind of hard like that, but they don't have the texture of that. I Definitely can't explain it. Not my kind of can't. Well, I don't really eat too much candy, but it's not my kind of thing. I like it. Mm, good. I like it. Okay, I still got some in my mouth. <laughs> okay. So up next, 
Okay, so up next we have aged Gouda cheese crispy. So this looks familiar, like maybe we've had it before. So I don't know if we got um, another box from here before. Mm-hmm. And you really like Gouda. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yes, I, I like Gouda. I like smoked Gouda. And I'm not a big Gouda fan. Let's see. They're very broken apart. Yeah, I think there's those small pieces in the bag, if you can see. Kind of looks like a Triscuit, sort of. Oh, kind of, you can kind of see through it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I like it. Very cheesy. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, not because it's cheesy, but because it's like a weird texture. Mm. It's I, like I very, I don't know, the texture is very, Kind of like a phyllo dough with cheese. It reminds me of Cheez-Its. Mm-mm, does it remind me of a Cheez-It? <laughs> mm, mm Okay. Okay, so up next, I think we have soft licorice and fruit gummies. It says fruit and licorice, and I don't really like licorice, honestly. I don't. Um, I don't either. And it says, with this particular candy, it's a gummy that's half drop and half juicy fruit, so there's juice in it. Uh, so. They're different colors and stuff in there, oh, but they no. look like this. I hope so I it's not we, half black licorice. Can we eat the non-black part? <laughs> yes. Which one would you like? The I don't like black, black licorice. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. I'll take the red one. All right, I'm going to try and taste just the yellow part, Me not too. the other part. You're not going to try the black licorice? All right, I'll take one for the someone team. Someone has to take it. Someone has to I'll take, take one. one for the team. Okay. Is it black licorice? So it's not, it's very mild if it is. Probably is, but it's mild. I don't know what flavor I ate. I don't like it though. Try the other side. It doesn't oh, taste like the other gummy. I did get, I did get a, uh, yes it is. This one is not as good as a Cadillac. Hmm. This is like lemon or something maybe? I don't know. Not bad. But again, I'm not big on like gummy candy type stuff. But the other one was better. Okay, so up next we have what All right, I can't pronounce this. It's so chocolate-covered cookies is what I'll call it. <laughs> and you get milk, white, and dark chocolate spice cookies. Oh. I'm not a big spice cookie person, though. So it's pro they're different colors. I should see if I can find different ones. So it's milk, white, and dark. Ooh, block the light a little bit. So I would like... All right, I'll try which one you don't try because I want the milk, the white chocolate, but... <laughs> All right, I'll try the milk chocolate because I know you want the white chocolate. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Not so good. I taste the spice. Um, mm hmm You don't, um, the spice cookie, which you probably don't like. I'm not a big spice cookie person. Uh, I probably like more spice cookies than you do. I don't. And uh, I could do without this one. It just tastes like a crunch, kind of a crunchy gingerbread, sort of, but. Yes. But the chocolate's not that good on it. My my white chocolate wasn't good. Was yours? My uh, milk chocolate. Oh yeah. <laughs> was it any good? Uh, I don't think so. I couldn't really taste it over the, the the spice cookie thing in the middle. Okay. So up next we have this is a really big, big uh, thing here. Yeah, Dutch speculus, and they do have that here in the U.S., especially around Christmas time. They bring these in. They do. I don't think I've ever mm -hmm. seen them before. But the word, um, let's see, speculus comes from the Latin word spectacles, it Ooh, says. These are big cookies. They are? Oh, I guess not really, they're thick. Yeah, that's what they look like. And it seems it's like a full size container, you wanna break it in half? Yeah, it looks like. Okay, cheers. cheers. Pretty good. It's like a Biscoff if you've ever had that. Mm, not too much of a fan. You don't like it? Well, it's okay, but you know, I'm not big on chocolate. It's not chocolate. What is it? It's like a, it's like a spice cookie. There's not an ounce of chocolate in there. Uh, to me, it tastes like chocolate. It looks like chocolate to him, but it, it really does taste like a Biscoff. So if you like Biscoff, this is exactly what this tastes like. Like a tea, oh, like a tea. I was thinking like a tea biscuit, and they do have a tea kettle on the thing. Mm hmm. Uh huh. 
So next up we have hazelnut cream milk chocolate bars. Well, a bar, I should say. It's a pretty big bar too, pretty thick. Did you show them the, the, yeah, the, 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 the picture? There's some pictures I can't make out the right thing. I mean, I can't, I don't know what it's saying. Um, let's see here. And so it says this famous Dutch sweet has rich chocolate and smooth hazelnut cream. Now I'm not really big into hazelnut. Uh, I don't care for that. I don't like Nutella or anything like that. So we'll see. I'm just gonna take a bite of it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm. I think it's soft in the middle. It's the hazelnut, it's the... But I, I, I like it. And you just said you don't like chocolate. I don't like chocolate flavored things. Well, chocolate it's not chocolate not. flavored. Mm, well, it looked like chocolate. <laughs> okay, so up next we have, oh no. What Dutch, is this? Dutch licorice bites. No, I'm not gonna like this. I haven't tasted it yet, but. And I think this is the black licorice. Why does it look like um, Lego to me? Yeah, it kind of does look like Legos. I hope this doesn't taste like black licorice. It doesn't say that it's black licorice on here. Um, oh, it has like little... What is that? I don't know. A building it looks like or something. Yeah, there it are a bunch say. of them on the, on, the, on the thing. It doesn't say. No one? Uh, not really. <laughs> I smell it. It smells just like black li licorice. All right. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's soft. And black licorice. Mm -mm. And I don't want any more. I don't want any more of that either. All right. Oh. Next up. We have cheddar and raspberry cheese crispies. I think we've had this before too, and it seems weird to me, cheddar and raspberry. It says sweet, savory, and absurdly addictive. Uh, Take a bite and you'll get it. Um, that's basically all it says. Oh, I get licorice in my mouth. Oh, that licorice. Does anybody like black licorice? I, I think I've met like one or two people in my life that like black licorice. Oh, it's all broken. It is broken. It's broken. Oh, let me see if I can find. Oh, this is like a. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. Turn it the other way. Yeah. What it's supposed to look like. And that little piece. I, I'm sure we've had this before. Cheers. Yeah, a little piece. Got rid of that licorice taste. Yeah, cheese. Yeah, you know, I don't really taste any raspberries in there. I just taste cheese. Do you taste raspberries? The hint of something in there. Mm, I need some another piece to get rid of that black licorice. Oh. Okay. Um, that's it. Um, is that it? Let me that's double it. check. That is it. Well, the only thing that is left is a young bag, which usually has uh, hard candy and stuff. Yeah, and we normally don't eat that on camera, but they, I think last month they did not send us one. We didn't get one last month. But um, Howard's going to show you what's in there. So you get some hard candies from that. Country. I think these are all sour candies I read. So I love sour candies. Um, one of them is that, yeah. the ball one. This crazy guy, watermelon. Yeah, that's the sour watermelon. And this ball one is a sour violet candy. And I guess sour. it tastes. Yeah, it tastes, uh, tastes like violet, like the flower, so. Why would I want to eat flowers? I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.